lymphocyte activating the killer cells, tumor active cytotoxic T cell injected with interleukin 2. What's the lock cell? It's tumor reactive cytotoxic T cell injected with interleukin 2. So it is cytotoxic T cells that attack the tumor cell injected to, uh, to the uh, patients with cancer in association with interleukin 2. And this is the lock cell. This is a patient with uh, CA, and we collect its blood, about 30 cc, and then uh, separation of the lymphocyte from his blood, and uh, start to culture it by tissue culture with anti-CD3 antibody, and then the, there is a proliferation and amplification of these uh, T cells, and then collection of this lymphocyte, and then reinfusion to the patient in association with interleukin 2. And here, when we uh, culture the lymphocyte, culture it with interleukin 2 to stimulate proliferation of these cells. The another type of the tumor immune therapy is using a kill cell, which is tumor infiltrating lymphocyte, injected with interleukin 2, and it's had a wide range of VIT tumor activity, and it's more toxic, it's need long period of time, 30 to 45 days. And here the patients with CA1, and we extract and remove the tumor mass by surgery, and we From this tumor mass, the lymphocyte that infiltrate the uh, tumor tissue and then culture it with interleukin 2 and then reinfuse to the patients, which is more cytotoxic to tumor cell. And this is called kill cell. Kill, uh, uh, it means that we remove the lymphocytes that we infiltrate the tumor mass and culture it with interleukin 2 to, be, to become more active and more proliferative and more toxic and then re-injected to the patients with uh, tumor. And this cell will be specific and directly attack the tumor and uh, residual cells that stay after surgery or chemotherapy or radiotherapy. There is a new checkpoint Immune checkpoints are regulatory regulators of the immune system. These pathways are crucial for cell tolerance, which prevent the immune system from attacking cells. Inhibitory checkpoints molecules are targets for cancer immune therapy. So these immune checkpoints are present normally in the person because it's, uh, the benefit of this is to reduce tolerance. And we can use this method to treat <coughs> to be a source of immune therapy against the tumor. Due to their potential for use in multiple types of cancer, currently approved uh, checkpoints inhibitor, a block uh, uh, <coughs> cytotoxic T, lymphocyte NTD4, and uh, PD1 and PD ligand 1. PD-1, which is a program with protein 1, is also known as PD-1 and CD-279. It's a protein on the surface of cells that has a role in regulating the immune system, response to the cells of the human body, by down-regulating the immune system. As you remember that uh, The PD1, which is the second uh, the inhibitory signal to T lymphocyte activation, and promoting cell tolerance by suppressing T cell inflammatory activity. This prevents autoimmune disease, but can also prevent the immune system from uh, killing the cancer cells. So here the antigen presenting cell, and here the activated T cell. And the, this is the CD28 receptor that's bind to B, uh, 
uh, seven family ligands, which is the second signal in the e lymphocyte activation. And this is the inhibitory molecule to the second signal of the T lymphocyte activation. And this is the PD1 with PD ligand 1. So this is the checkpoints, two checkpoints. And this is the tumor cell, and this is the T cells, and this is the dendritic cell, and this is the dendritic cells with the T cell, and this is the checkpoint, and here the checkpoint, and this is the first signal in the T lymphocyte activation, and this is the second signal in the T lymphocyte activation, and here the plus mark uh, sign, and here the minus sign that this is indicate inhibition to T lymphocyte activation. And here, minus sign that means this is the second checkpoint that inhibit T cell activation. So we have two checkpoints. This is the second signal that inhibited CTLA4 that inhibit the second signal of the T lymphocyte activation, and this is the second checkpoint that also PD1, PD ligand 1, that inhibit the T lymphocyte activation. So this is the this is normally this is normal. While in the tumor, where there is tumor cell presence in the circulation, so this is the first signal in the T lymphocyte activation, and the tumor cell will produce this checkpoint that inhibit the T lymphocyte activation from attacking the tumor cell. So the immune therapy will act on these two checkpoints, this first checkpoint and this is the second checkpoint. So program this ligand, the PD ligand 1, is a transmembrane protein that has been speculated to play a major role in suppressing the immune system during particular events such as pregnancy, tissue allografts, autoimmune disease, and other disease states such as hepatitis. Normally, the immune system reacts to foreign antigens that are associated with exogenous or endogenous danger signals, which triggers a proliferation of antigen specific CD8 T cells or CD4 helper cells, and the binding of the PD, PD ligand transmits an inhibitory signal, as explained before on the figures, that reduces the proliferation of the antigen-specific T cells and decreases apoptosis in regulatory T uh, cells. And this is the another figure to demonstrate. This is the checkpoint. PDPD lichen, and this is the V7 molecule with CD28, which is the second signal in the T lymphocyte activation, and the inhibition of this second signal by the uh, CTLA4. Several so human cancer cells expressed high level of PD ligand locate of PD ligand to reduce the growth of tumor cells in the presence of the immune cells. At the same time, it was concluded that PD ligand or V7 helps tumor cell by the anti-tumor immunity. In, 200, in 2003, V7 was shown to be expressed on myeloid cell as checkpoints proteins and was proposed as potential target in cancer immune therapy in humans. So checkpoint inhibitor uh, therapy is a form of cancer treatment immune therapy currently under research. And the therapy targets immune checkpoints, key regulator, uh, regulators of the immune system that can stimulate or inhibit its action, which tumor can use to protect themselves from attack by the immune system. Checkpoint therapy can block inhibitory checkpoints restoring immune system function. And the first anti-cancer drug targeting the immune checkpoint was uh, epilumab, uh, epilumab uh, cytotoxic T lymphocyte NDG4 blocker approved in the United States in 2011. 
Other checkpoints inhibitor target, the molecules PDPD ligand is the uh, PD1 is the transmembrane programmed cell death protein, which is also called CD279, which is interacts with PD ligand or CD274. PD ligand on the cell surface binds to PD on immune cell surface, which inhibits immune cell activity. So among PD ligand function is a key regulatory role on T cell activities. It appears that cancer induced upregulation of PD ligand on cell surface that inhibit T cell activation. Antibodies that bind to either PD or PD ligand and therefore block the interaction. And here, this figure shows us this is the T cell, this is the tumor cell, and how the antibodies bind to PD, PD ligand, so inhibit of this checkpoint. And here, the, in this regard, the antigen presenting cell, here are the T cells, and this is the first signal, and this is the second signal, will stop by the antibody inhibitors. And this leads to amplified anti tumor T cell response, inhibits tumor invasion, migration, inhibits tumor angiogenesis. And the last one gene therapy tumor cell or antigen presenting cells or T cells uh, are transfected with T7 genes or genes encoding with interleukin 3, interleukin 2, or tumor necrosis factor. And this is the tumor cell or antigen presenting cell or dendritic cells or till cells and transfected with the plasmid uh, have genes that code for interleukin 3, interleukin 2, tumor necrosis factor. And this will bind with the T lymphocyte and this enhance the proliferation of T cells. Thank you.